This is Jesus Manuel Menegars. I hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. In this uh, short, short video, I'm going to be talking about two things. I'm going to be talking about uh, teaching classes, specifically RVing and photography classes. And uh, two, uh, getting my travel trailer, the one I ordered uh, quite a few months back. Okay, Let's start off with number one, uh, school. I'll be teaching a couple classes at the local community college in about a few weeks here. And my wife has already started to teach at the university. She's a full, she's a full professor. I'm just doing uh, some teaching part-time for fun. And uh, I'm retired. She wants to continue working until she's about 105 years old. But that's her choice. I'm trying to get her to uh, quit and move on with her life and do some traveling. But does she listen to me? So I'll be teaching classes in a couple weeks. Uh, I haven't been teaching for since about uh, 15 months now. Previously, when I would talk to my students, they would uh, we would be all unmasked and stuff like that. I had a lot of students uh, who were very uh, cynical about uh, COVID-19, the pandemic, and they make fun of it and they go, uh, you know, make jokes about it. And I'm still going to have those students coming back. Uh, this fall semester and of course they're going to be still making fun of it so i only can control what i have to do in that class i can't in the state of texas they say you can't tell anybody anything or you can't say hey you got to wear a mask you got to be uh, vaccinated you can't tell anybody anything in the great state of texas <laughs> it's very darwinian here so i'm going to be wearing a mask in class i already informed all my students uh, via the uh, my school account for my class and so I'll be wearing a mask and protecting myself and hopefully them. I'm going to get, in fact, I'll probably be double masking just to make sure I don't. Uh, and I'm not going to touch my students uh, and shake hands with them, maybe just a shoulder bump once in a while, but I'm not going to try to get too much. I'm going to maintain a certain amount of distance, okay? In my photography and my RVing classes. Second, in this very short video, I'm going to be talking about my uh, RV. I ordered it quite a few months ago. I think it's about... Uh, five months ago and the RV dealership just I was supposed to get it in August but now it's supposed to be September and it might end up being October or November so it's taken about six months for a lot of these RVs to be delivered now and uh, my RV dealership uh, Juana RV and uh, Ship Shawana uh, Indiana says that I'm locked in on the price so my price is should my price should not go up even though a lot of this about <laughs> Quite a few of uh, the items that I order are now standard, and uh, but you know that's how it goes sometimes. So I've been getting a lot of communication from my subscribers. Thank you very much, and they've been asking me about uh, places I would suggest. I suggested Juana, and they've also been asking me a lot of questions about service and uh, service warranties. And I always say, <clears throat> if you can, if you're not disabled. Uh, if you're just a regular person with a regular salary, I would not get the uh, extended warranty. Of course, if you're very wealthy and you have money to toss around, yeah, get the extended warranty. You know, it costs two, three thousand dollars for an extra couple of years, and you know, the RV dealerships are all trying to sell that. If you bought an electric toothbrush off Amazon, they're going to try to give you an extended warranty on that too. Okay, everywhere you go, that's a profit center. That's the term, profit center. <laughs> you make money on that stuff. They always, you know, they always going to pimp that product, okay? So, extended warranties, alajo. No, no, no. That's my opinion. Unless, you know, you're not good at DIY, DIY and do-it-yourself projects and, and you're just not as capable as you used to be and you want somebody else to, you just, that peace of mind. I understand. Then go for the extended warranty. But I'm still somewhat capable, a little tiny bit capable, uh, itty-bitty capable, okay? The other question I get is about servicing your travel trailer and a lot of, you know, if you go to the local dealerships here, uh, Explore USA, Funtown, uh, United RV, all of them pretty much say, if you don't buy from us, it's going to take a little bit longer, a little bit extra time to get it serviced. Sort of like they're trying to say, hey, you've got to buy from us instead of somewhere else. Okay. Of course, I'm buying from somewhere else and I talk to the people that, uh, you know, the local Fun Town R RV. They have a they have quite a few Fun Towns around here, and they're uh, if you ever want to get a hold of them, just dial eight three three Fun Town. 
and they're, uh, you know, everywhere around here. And they have a gigantic, I mean a gigantic service center in uh, Claiborne, Texas. And um, I'm thinking about for, war, you know, warranty work, service work, I might take it down there. Or I might take it to United RV, according to Mikey at uh, United RV, he says their service department is excellent. And every service department I talk to that's, you know, uh, Forest River related has said, drop it off. Six weeks later, we'll look at it and hopefully we'll get it done within a couple weeks after that, which I find very stupid. But that's how they operate. That's the paradigm right now for RV servicing. They're trying to get you to not take it in for service. They're trying to get, you know, the warrant, you know, the manufacturer's trying to make it as difficult and they've, uh, uh, relay that to all the different dealerships and yeah, make it difficult. Yeah, tell them it's going to take six weeks and after that maybe another couple of weeks and eventually they'll get their RV back, you know, in time for after camping season. They'll get it back. <laughs> so, again, every RV dealership I've talked to, you know, outside of, uh, you know, the Airstream, you know, DFW of Airstream and uh, VOD RV, VOD RVs, A plus regarding service, you actually can call them up they'll uh, look at your RV, they'll find out what parts necessary. You take it back home and when they're when you're ready, you can bring it back and they'll service it. And, you know, take a week or so and that's good. That's the way the paradigm should be. Not drop it off. Eventually we'll look at it and when we have time we'll then we can look, you know, fix it and we'll call you up and say, "Hey, this is going to cost you $2,000. That parts, you know, made out of solid gold." Sorry about that. <laughs> So that's the paradigm, and I just wanted to inform you of my situation regarding school and some of the questions I've been having uh, on my RV channel, RV and Travel Adventures. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. And of course, if you uh, have a chance or the inclination or the time, please leave your comments, your friendly and super professional comments below. Again, I'm retired. My wife isn't, and this is a hobby of mine. Hope you like this channel. Again, I'd greatly appreciate if you subscribe. From Fort Worth, Texas, hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Had a little bit of rain today. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.